This is the individual that I said, you know, we are having conversations about what happened last year, 2023, and now B.J. Clark is not there. Two other people that were from Pepperdine. Pepperdine speakers are no longer there. Y'all need to start looking at Chris McCurley. Chris McCurley is going to be speaking on Revelation 4 and 5 in Lloyd Auditorium at the 2024 Freed Hardeman Lectures. And you're saying, I don't know who Chris McCurley is. Chris McCurley, I think it's in Dixon, Tennessee, and I believe it's called the Walnut Congregation. But beyond that, Chris McCurley is listed as a board member of the Red River Family Encampment, which happens in New Mexico. And this is who you're going to see with Chris McCurley at the upcoming Red River Encampment. Now, look at this. Saturday, June 24th, Keith Lancaster. Keith Lancaster is with, he is acapella, acapella vocal group, which performs in denominations all over the place. They, Keith is a regular at Pepperdine. He's housed, their group is housed. Home is Oklahoma Christian. And, and co-founder is at Don McLaughlin's church in mm. North Atlanta. Is his name Stephen? Stephen Maxwell. Maxwell, that's right. Yeah. And, and they have a mechanical music there. And Don McLaughlin's daughter is Amy, and she is a woman preacher in the Church of Christ. So At Abilene. She's on staff at Abilene. And you just, I mean, you can't get further along. And by the way, we have an audio, I don't know if we get to play it tonight, where uh, Jay Lockhart distances himself as far as he can from Keith Lancaster. I don't know where Keith Lancaster was when I was Oklahoma Christian, but I was going to chase him down and tell him I wasn't in fellowship with him. Uh, yeah. And but, that, to me, that also is a bit crazy. Like, why not? Yeah. Well, you don't have to chase him down. You can call his name from the pulpit. <laughs> Any you know, of that's it. Speak, that's telling the truth. But it's but my thing is like y'all are almost never taking this seriously. Yeah. It's always like, well, I'm not gonna like waste my time. Yeah. Oh, I I kind of thought you thought that souls were on the line. Yeah. I mean, they oh, are. He, that was said to him in that in that discussion on the phone, and it just aggravated him to no end. So, this is still Red River Encampment, where Chris McCurley is a board member. They're going to have Pepperdine's Keith Lancaster. Billy McGuigan is a Pepperdine speaker. Orpheus Hayward is a Pepperdine speaker. Last year. Last year. This year. This year. That's what you're calling it? 2023. You're right. Yeah. Last year. Orpheus Hayward was on Pepperdine in 2023. Uh, it's called the Renaissance Church in Atlanta. They use instrumental music. And he is... Full fellowship with denominations. Yes. And so he's on the program... Well, okay. <laughs> Who is Chris McCurley? Sorry about that. Chris McCurley is going to be, he is a board member at Red River, Red River Family Encampment. He's a speaker on Red River Family Encampment, and he's going to be with Keith Lancaster, Pepperdine speaker, Billy McGuigan, Pepperdine speaker, Orpheus Hayward, Pepperdine speaker. Jeff Jenkins will be there and probably say nothing. Tim Lewis will be there and probably say nothing. Wes McAdams will not have a problem at all, and neither will Jacob Rutledge. Now, I reference him being a board member because when speakers do this, when speakers share the pulpit with Pepperdine personalities, they say, I'm just a speaker. Yeah. I, I don't know who these people are. No, Chris McCurley is a board member. He absolutely knows who these people are, and if he doesn't, then his title as board member is a joke. How does he get to be on Freed Hardeman in Lloyd Auditorium while he's a board member at Red River Family Encampment and, and all and these Pepperdine speakers are coming. How does Jeff Jenkins get to be on Focal Point in San Marcos, Texas after or prior to whatever in proximity with being on Red River? I mean, 15 years ago, uh, Sam Dilbeck, the preacher at San Marcos at the University Congregation, wouldn't I mean, it just would just not be tolerable at all for him to have any of this said about him when he was in Leonard, Texas. Right. But he's been associated with Bear Valley long enough that it just like water off a duck's back. Yeah. And so Jeff Jenkins, it just is beyond, just really beyond understanding how Jeff Jenkins could be on this and be on Focal Point at the same time. Well, here's what Don Blackwell said after he saw this same lineup. Okay. 
Keith Lancaster, Billy McGuigan, and the, the key issue for Don seeing it had to do with Jeff, Jeff Jenkins, Jenkins and Tim Lewis. Because, I mean, these North uh, MacArthur affirming the faith, you're going to see a number of people over there. But here's what Don said. When Don saw the 2023 Red River lineup and was asked about Jeff Jenkins, his response was, and that's why I don't use Jeff Jenkins. And he says this. He starts saying it's possible that he could be at a place where some false teachers are and he's going to weigh these options, but this is what Don says at the very end. I want to ensure that I will not appear to be endorsing or fellowshipping the error. So when Don... Blackwell saw the Red River 2023 lineup that had Jeff Jenkins with and Chris McCurley. He said, that's why we don't use any of the guys. So if you ask Don Blackwell, what do you think about Orpheus Hayward? Don't use him. What do you think about Keith Lancaster? Don Blackwell says, don't use him. What do you think about Billy McGuigan? Don't use him. But what do you say about Chris McCurley? Don't use him. But Chris McCurley is coming to Freed Hardeman Lectures. And he's with all these Pepperdine guys. Don Blackwell says, don't use them. Here's a quote from Alan Hires again. Fellowship without endorsement. That's what they're all practicing at Freed Hardeman these days with Chris McCurley. And, you know, I still hear very good things about Aaron. This is not hard, right? Like this is someone says, boy, you didn't, have Aaron to, Gallagher. you didn't have to throw Aaron Gallagher under the bus. No, if you're going to be playing this game, you're going to have to play well. That's what, what else are we doing? Don Blackwell is on the record saying, I don't use Jeff Jenkins. Well, Aaron Gallagher is going to be April 21 and 24th. He's going to be sharing the pulpit at East Tennessee Lectures. Our Southeastern Biblical yeah. Institute. Southeast Institute of Biblical Studies at Carnes Congregation, Knoxville, Tennessee. This is exactly what I said to Alan Hires in the interview. Alan Hires when you know he said the antis the non-institutional brethren i said isn't that confusing because back in the day they would all they'd be fighting but they'd be holding meetings for each other i said wasn't that confusing for people in the pew and he said could have been and then after the whole fight with herald of truth thomas warren just kept fellowshipping with harold hazel lip and lynn anderson. anderson and i asked alan hires wasn't that confusing and he said could have been this is clearly confusing to joyce judd I don't know who Joyce Judd is, but when Joyce Judd saw the lineup at East Tennessee, she said, oh, what a wonderful group of speakers. Truth be told by Don Blackwell, it's not. Because if it was a wonderful group, solid group, Jeff Jenkins wouldn't be in it. And he has to say the same thing about Steve Higginbotham, who last year shared the pulpit with four Pepperdine speakers, and this year is going to share it with three, plus Chris McCurley. And just like this with Tim Lewis. Yeah. If you call up the North MacArthur Church of Christ, and you ask Tim, Tim Lewis's, you ask the secretary or whomever, they will tell you, oh, Steve Higginbotham, he comes in here, he doesn't do his lecture and take off. He stays around. So North MacArthur is the, oh, uh, the this, mixing pool for This him. year Randy Roper is going to be wow. at North MacArthur, and Randy Roper is a Pepperdine speaker, and that's Phil Sanders' preacher, yeah. which moves us into this next one. You brought... Um,